Michigan Athletic Conference in the Ian Hill Tip-Off Classic, where they will face the Ferrum College Panthers. They are a third pick in the USA South, and they bring back all-conference first team, all-state first team, Jamal Pullen. Meanwhile, the running Royals bring back four out of five starters and in the neighborhood of 82% of their point production from last season. So that's one of the reasons why the Royals are picked third in the preseason ODAC. Before we get to the season with Crump, we saw a little bit of a lane on the right side and still took it to the hoop and off the glass, the Royals score. Now the floor comes Marvin Wilson. And there's Falk with the steal. Will he finish? He does! <laughs> well, that didn't take long. To Jones, to Yates, and the freshman with the jumper, and it's good. Blake Steele with his first points as a Royal. That's got to feel good coming in here. Debut of your college career, knocking down your first jumper from the elbow. Almost five minutes expired, and Ferrum still hasn't scored. It's eight to nothing now. Yates makes it ten to nothing if it counts. And the long jumper, and it's good. Williams between the legs, tricky dribble off Ooh. the back. Penetration for air knocked away. And the man that created the steal comes up with the slam back at the other end. Ryan Crump on the penetration. Out to Hawkins for three. Got it. That's what the Royals are looking for. A good. Throw. Gotta go to Falk. Nope. They get a Bush. And he puts good. It in. Nice. Ryan Bush underneath. So. Get the ball to him. Williams out to McDonald. Five of the shot clock. And what a play by Ryan Yates. Ayers with the penetration and blocked. Up his dribble out to McDonald. Williams tries to penetrate behind the back, spins, and how about that? They can help it. Crump looking for a screen. Pick and roll doesn't work, but Crump will take it himself. Out to Williams. Great dribble and spin, and got it. There's that spin move again. Oh, and you can't defend it. No, it is a tight little spin there. Your only hope of defending that is if he misses. James Williams, they come to running Royals. Williams on the alley oop, and there you go. David Fall. Williams to Fall. Looks like all five starters are on the floor now for Ian Hugh. Quay McDonald with a long jump, and he got it. 30 footer for Quay. Definition of a slasher. It's a good point. There goes Yates. Crump takes it all the way. Final seconds tick off. 80 to 74, the final score. Marcel Crump leads the way. I believe he had 22 in the game. We'll check the final stats coming up here on the EMU post game show, which is powered by RMH Centera, along with Matt Ruth. I'm Scott Lowe. Run their record to 2 0 against a very tough opponent in the EMU tip off classic as this afternoon they'll take on the St. Mary's Seahawks team that had their way with Bridgewater in the first round of the EMU Tip-Off Classic. And then, we look back in last year, this was a team that was 19 and eight, and uh, made it to the semifinals of their uh, tournament, the CAC tournament, before losing to Mary Washington in the semifinals. They are led by senior Nicholas Laguerre. He's a two-time all-conference selection. Uh, as well as NABC All Middle Atlantic District and so much more. So we'll watch out for him. 15.4 points per game. And he'll be one of the leaders for the St. Mary's College of Maryland Seahawks taking on EMU. Oh, and that they did. Beniak got the foul. It's the first foul of the game. Brooks knocked away by Falk, his first block of the game, but the rebound to St. Mary's. They take the three pointer. It's not good. And here come the Royals. Great communication by the Royals. The ball's falling out of bounds and they're talking to each other. James Williams for three. Got it. And uh, it looks like they're out to a great start again here. Well, St. Mary's dominated Bridgewater. And for there, McDonald, Williams in the corner. The pump fake, and that opened up a lane for him, and he drives. Get you. Two on two break. Going to be finished by Crump. Doesn't get it. There's Falk oh, to slam it home. The cleanup man. The cleanup man. Just picked up the garbage and hammered it home. David Falk. 
an impressive statement. Watch it again here on the replay. Crump, the slash, there he is. Stuffing it home is David Falk, and it's to Crump, to Jones, and there's the jumper, and another three for Ryan Yates. Line last year, and fall away by Crump doesn't go. He was trying to draw the foul. Good rebound in there by Woody Furbush. Yeah. He makes it, and he there goes to Woody the line. Furbush. I know he had to be disappointed in the two or three minutes he played last night, and here he is out here maximizing, which is what he does, maximizing the minutes that he gets. Furbush, the 6'2 senior, going to the line to try to extend the EMU three-point lead as it stands right now. Nice. Steele leaves it for Williams in the lane. Two steal, nice ball movement, oh. and it counts his foul. We'll take three the old-fashioned way any day of the week. And he's making a name for himself right now, Mr. Steele. Blake Steele is, is letting us know that he is he, he's earning minutes. He's letting us know that, yeah, we have David Falk, but there's a new one coming. There's a new Back to a five-point St. Mary's lead. Quay That's McDonald. what Quay did so well last year. He shoots the three. That's what we need from Quay. Poised. Inside to Falk. Can he hold on? Yates puts it in and he's back. Shot clock. One more. Oh. Isaiah Harris wins. Oh, my. Where did he come from? <laughs> Get it to go. Got his own rebound. Misses. Oh, did not shoot the ball well from the perimeter in the first half. Spurry. You're exactly right. Even though they're just getting started, it's so physical. Great block, back-to-back -back blocks. Getting on the floor after it. He's not need, leading the nation in rebounding, but he's got to be leading in blocks. Quay McDonald off the feed from Yates. Quay clears out to Spurrier. Blocked. <laughs> Another big-time block. Oh, my goodness. To Yates. Down the floor to Crump. He just might take it all the way. There he goes, and in. That's what he does best. He can take over at any time. Makes his move into the lane, kicks it out to Williams, thought about three. Brought it down, drives, and makes That's the great, a great move. great take. I, he's, he attacks the basket with such confidence. Two. Williams loops it into Falk. There he goes. Great move in the oh. slam. <laughs> Just one spin reverse drop step, but you've got to get back. Oh, the other oh end of my boxes. goodness. Are you kidding me? Crump going to slash to the hoop. Slammed <laughs> by David Falk in the follow. Oh, the ball rolls up off the rim, and Falk is there with one hand to punch it down through. I Another player in foul trouble is Jackson. Look at that slam. Michael, but all that other stuff was, and James Williams says, I just need the free throws to go in here. Got it. And we got a technical on the bench. We've got another technical right here on the coach. Chris Harney arguing his case, and it's going to be a technical foul on the bench. Chris Harney earned it. Hey, this is, this is getting interesting here. We've got another technical on, on the coach here at St. Mary's. So Mr. Williams is going to keep shooting, it looks like. A couple of early gifts there. You see Beniak on the bench there. The coach wants an explanation. Officials are practicing planned ignoring. Williams. Three for three, that was big, and he's got one more. He's gonna cut this game potentially to two points with four free throws here. Just on those two technicals. Can I get an explanation, please? Can we get one? Falk, back to the basket. He's gonna take the hook, and got it! 77, 217 to go. Listen to the oh, crowd the this takeaway. could be showtime! Oh! Oh my goodness, Ryan Yates with the monster dunk! We've got a timeout by St. Mary's. The coach has locked his hands behind his back and he's, he, oh, oh, he's getting into it with the referee here. Oh, we got, oh my goodness. Look at the enthusiasm for EMU and the right in front of us. The Mennonites are on. Whether they call a timeout to get into their press. William is now with 15. James, the 6'2 senior from Capitol Heights, Maryland. Got them both. Look for a three-pointer here. 
I think they're calling a play for a three. Let's see what St. Mary's is going to do. There it is. Long he Ray launches Brooks. it, Got and he it. hits it, and he hits it. It's a one-point game. It must not 9. have had a timeout. 9.4 seconds. How about both of them? Brooks could nail another one of those, and if he does, we go to overtime. In and out. Yeah, he, he looked like he hesitated just a little bit. Hey, hey, right here. Right here. Swing We're going to look right for... Didn't look like they had any more timeouts. He up. made the second one. It's a two-point game. Back. Sparrier has the ball. Almost a turnover. Penetrating. The jumper for two to tie it. Spurrier knocks it out of bounds, and the Royals will win. Easter Mennonite <laughs> comes out on top, 82 to 80. They oh, what a great win. win. Donye Jackson, who missed it. The rebound was there for Spurrier, but he didn't have a good look at a great game between two quality teams. Oh. Won by EMU in our final, 82 to 80. Stick around, we'll wrap it up here in the next few minutes alongside Luke Hartman. I'm Scott Lowe.